I'm here with Paul Stevens, Marketing Director for Adventech's Networks and Communications Group. Adventech is a company that is a market leader in providing embedded products and solutions to the telecom industry. Paul, thanks for being here today. Thanks, Simon. Thanks. I'm glad to be here. Paul, what do you see as the key benefits that Adventech brings to your customers? So one of the key benefits that Advantech brings is the broad choice of scalable platforms upon which network equipment providers can build their next generation networking platforms. So customers want uh, more scalability and greater flexibility so that they can finally dose the compute and I.O. that they need for the workload at hand. So Advantech brings that scalability by offering a very broad product range from which they can put a lot of different systems together based on Atom at the entry level all the way up through Xeon processors in 2U rack mount carrier grade servers or onto terabit throughput routers using uh, EATCA with several hundred Intel Xeon cores. And you know if that's not flexible enough then we're always a hands-on company working very closely with our customers and engineer their engineering teams to help them bring their secret source to play and add their secret source um, or a particular I, proprietary IP um, onto an Advantech platform. The industry is talking a lot about SDN and NFV. What impact are you seeing from these technologies and how is it changing your approach to providing COT solutions? Well, so I mean, SDN and NFV, we all know, are shaking up the industry right now. Um, and although their, uh, let's say, uh, COTS approach is very important for the economies of scale. We believe that when it gets to 40 gig and 100 gig processing, we need to do something different. And, and a one size fits all approach reaches its limits with 40 gig and 100 gig traffic due to uh, IO and compute bandwidth constraints. And we think it's crucial to optimize packet delivery uh, from the I.O. ports into the CPUs and into the virtual machines. Next, data needs to move more efficiently between virtual machines to make service chaining more efficient. And thirdly, offload or acceleration is needed for specific workloads. And all this needs to happen within a consistent uh, software framework. One of the concerns with SDN and NFV is performance. What is Advantech doing to improve the performance of standard server systems for SDN and NFV applications? You know, SDN and NFV introduce a new set of challenges, forcing us to think more carefully about the balance between compute and I.O., especially as NIC speeds are increasing by tenfold to 100 gig, and general purpose processor performance isn't really keeping up. And a good analogy we make is handling 100 gig pipes is like drinking water from a fire hose. So, you know, new approaches are needed, which is why Advantech's focused on optimizing standard server architectures and adding acceleration and offload. First, we re-architected our standard server designs to better handle traffic on 10 gig and 40 gig ports. Uh, and then we added hardware acceleration to make 100 gig flow processing possible. I know you work closely with Intel to ensure you support the latest process developments in your products. How are you using the huge bandwidth available into and out of the latest Intel Xeon processors? That's a good question, Simon. Well, actually, we work closely with Intel and we're an active member of the network builders community as well as a, a premier member of the uh, IoT Alliance. Um, we get early access to new silicon, which helps us get samples of next generation networking gear into the hands of key customers really fast. Uh, and it also allows us to engage early with other network builders to be fully production ready at Intel launch time. And in fact, at, at IDF uh, back in September, we launched no less than 15 new products, five of which were based on the uh, E5 V3 Haswell EP processor. Um, and so to make better use of the bandwidth, um, we architected our, our latest platforms to ensure an even distribution of PCI connected NICs to CPU sockets. Um, in standard server designs out there, this isn't the case, and uh, mainly because servers focus more on compute than I.O. In fact, standard servers bring inefficiencies, especially when an incoming packet needs to be 
handled by a software thread running on a different processor. Uh, latency goes up as packets have to traverse the interprocessor QPI bus and of course performance gets impacted and scalability then suffers. And for optimum performance it's important to have an equal number of NICs connected to each CPU socket providing equal access latency from I.O. into each of the CPUs. Now you've talked about scalable solutions. Do customers need to support different software platforms or have you been able to support a common software platform across all your telecom solutions? Yes, it's essential to support a, a common software model by adopting Intel Quick Assist technology and DPDK. Uh, customers have a consistent base upon which to write their software and then software can scale all the way from several gig ports on Intel Atoms up to several hundred cores on bladed systems with higher performance crypto and compression offload. When it comes to handling 100 gig pipes, we adopted a smart NIC solution using Netronome flow pressors that don't break the software model. Um, on 100 gig pipes, a Netronome processor handles flow tables with over 100 million flows and does that statefully. Uh, this frees up the Intel Xeons for higher layer processing and can also free up a, a multitude of downstream uh, servers as you can also load balance to external compute nodes. The solution fits seamlessly with DPDK, passing data into user space and uh, can even be configured by OpenFlow, allowing the solution to fit nicely into OpenStack and SDN applications. So just one final question, when you're working with customers who are using your solutions, what kind of support do you provide those customers in developing and qualifying their products? Well, we're a very hands-on company designing products closely and in unison with our customers. No one customer is the same and the ability to work hand-in-hand -hand during customization and qualification is, is a part of what we do. At the same time, we, we see a need to give customers access to the latest hardware platforms for test evaluation and benchmarking. And a new remote evaluation service, which we recently introduced, allows them to use all of our products for an agreed period of time. Um, we think this will be absolutely key in accelerating time to market for customers. Thanks, Paul, for taking the time today. Thanks, Simon. It's a pleasure to be here.